Okay guys, uh, great to have you back on the channel, checking out another one of my videos. Uh, first off, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have a look around my channel there, you'll see I've done a few changes on it. I've tried to do a lot more of my own thumbnails on it. I've changed the uh, banner on the top. Uh, a few other things I've changed on the channel, trying to make it a bit uh, more pleasing to the eye when people come onto the, onto the channel. Um, I'll hope to do it, uh, a playlist of videos from other guys as well, from other channels that I think are fairly good. So I'm going to hopefully add that to it soon, a playlist. So for videos um, such as uh, videos from Moose Scrapper or e, e, e Waste Bane, uh, Gil Skills. Uh, big shout out to Gil Skills there, uh, who uh, gave me an old hand there, getting a few more subscribers on the old channel. Um, so thanks a lot for that. Um, Mr. Gill Skills, um, a few more of the, uh, the guys there that are uh, really helping out on the um, the promotion of people, other people's channels. So I know there's a lot, to, I can't remember them all at this stage. Um, so just, I put links down hopefully in the description of these channels, check them out. Um, I might even put a, a little link on, the vi on this video somewhere around, so have a look uh, in the corners of the screen, stuff like that, there may be a link. Uh, at the end of my videos I also now also put on a uh, recommended, uh, recommended video for you to watch from my channel as well. So hopefully you, you can check all them out if you're into this gold recovery just the same as I am. Uh, well, I'm into the scrapping first, but this this videos are mainly dealt with um, gold recovery. I will do a few different scrapping videos uh, as time goes on. So um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking me out. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy with what I'm doing. Give me a few comments. Let me know what you think of the new setup on the YouTube channel. Do you like it? Um, stuff like that. So for this video, as the title will say, it's to do with getting gold material, gold bearing materials from hard drives. CD-ROMs on the computers, more hard drives, and DVD-ROMs. So uh, it's just to see what type of boards are in them, what's on the boards that's worth taking, uh, what other scrap material is from them. So we'll get straight into it. So we'll, and we'll just remove a few of the, few of the screws. Find the right size screwdriver in the first place. So let's just remove the, the top uh, cover off the hard drive here on this one. So as I say, any time I get a computer, if there's a hard drive in it, I don't sell the hard drive online. I don't want any of that because people's information are maybe on it um, under data protections, stuff like that. You could land yourself in trouble. So it's a lot easier just to scrap it out completely for the sake of the grief you could get if, if for, um, especially here in Europe now under these new data protection laws. Um, if someone got hold of this hard drive, uh, took information off about someone, um, and it came back to where they got the hard drive, who sold them, I'd be in trouble straight away for it. So it's just, it's a lot easier for me just to scrap them out. Uh, I know I don't make as much money, I could have made make a lot more money by selling it on eBay, but um, I just don't take that risk. There's always going to be one hidden somewhere in around this area. Usually there's a screw hidden in under here. So it's just a matter of getting into it. Um, so I hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm making. Um, I have a bit of holiday time coming up now soon from work. So I might try and bang out a few videos together in the one week. Maybe maybe up to three or four videos in that week that I'm off. Um, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see these videos hit the little bell symbol um, so you can be updated and notified as soon as that video becomes live um, also a lot of lads are doing live streams now um, which are seem to be a way to go so that may be something I might look at so at some stage maybe do a live stream um, to discuss with other scrappers um, their ideas their plans uh, what, what they hope to achieve through the scrapping. Is it a full-time job you're at? Is it part-time like myself, just a hobby? Um, I know there's people out there and they, this is what they do for a living, is scrapping. In America it's a big, compared to Ireland, stuff like that, because in Ireland, 
Electrical waste is more regulated. It can't be just disposed of on the side of the road. Um, can't be left outside. It has to be brought back to a to where it's been sold, stuff like that. There's bring back schemes uh, under the Wee We Ireland system. Um, so stuff like that. Okay, so that's usually aluminium. So we just got a bit of aluminium on it. Uh, again, we'll have the neodymium magnets in underneath here, which are very, very strong magnets. Again, now they can be sold on eBay. I've seen people selling them on eBay. Um, again, most people will have a use for them. They're, they're, I've seen is it um, a few lads use them just to hold their tools, so they stick them on a, on something. They can leave their their tools stuck to them. So they know where it was left. Okay, that's from the other side. Okay, so that's our neodymium magnet. Um, so as you can see, it is quite strong. I'll just adjust the camera down a small bit more. We get a bit better angles on that what I'm doing. Okay, so neodymium mag magnet, very strong magnet, can be sold on eBay. I've seen them selling them on eBay, so that's something that may interest a few people. Um, okay, that's Okay, we'll move on to the platter. So we'll just remove the ring that's around the platter. So we've a lot of little screws along that. Um, which, again, the platter, some people use to uh, recover, I think it's silver, uh, platinum off some of the platters. Uh, I've seen some which contained gold on some videos online. So again, just check out a few videos if that's what you're into. Again, people sell them on eBay for crafts. I've seen them being sold as, uh, for people making crafts, wind chimes, stuff like that. Uh, so rather than dispose of them, or uh, if you have no way of getting any of the material off it, like, or processing them further, um, just have a look on eBay, see can you sell it to someone, maybe someone wants them for crafts they're doing, um, wind chimes, stuff like that. So what I do with the platters, as I say, I um, usually destroy them completely um, so that no information can be got off them ever. So that way then people are more inclined to give me um, their hard drives when they see that I don't do anything further with them. Okay. Yeah. Not going to come out that easy. I'm going to have to work a bit harder on him in a minute. But we'll go to the back for the moment. Um, oh, there we go, have him. So that's that's our platter. That's where our information, all your uh, information on the computer is stored. So again, I usually just destroy them. Make it in such a way that if someone did get hold of it, which they shouldn't do because let's say I'll further process these hopefully in future videos. I just cut them up into smaller bits um, so it'll be very hard for anyone to get any information off them. Um, again, you can remove the center part completely. If I can get the screwdriver to move it at all. I'm going to have to get a better screwdriver for that job. So we'll just go to the back where I was starting on. So we'll remove the logic board or the uh, circuit board and get a closer look at it.
there's a um, streamer out there I think it's called Puska Studios I think that's how you pronounce it uh, if you haven't checked it out guys check it out if you're trying to build your channel up uh, they do a lot of live streams there uh, it can be a bit late if you're from Europe um, last night they had one on and started at 12 at night uh, here in Ireland so it was a bit late to be honest but they do do a European one as well which, which suits European times but again uh, you usually work when that one's on so I did miss it so I had to try and tune into the one that I that was on last night um, so check them out as well so on this board here we've got our gold flashed fingers or uh, pins whatever we want to call them we have our IC chips we have our MLCC's which should contain hopefully some platinum um, some maybe some silver as well on them usually um, so that's kind of it on the board on the back of the board again very very poor flashed um, gold there so it's, as I say, it's very very light it's nearly gone at this stage on it um, so not, not really high grade uh, a few gold pins in here so that's the board uh, that'll be aluminium as well they're usually aluminium so you just test them with your magnet to make sure um, so we so have our magnet here now so we can test it so as you can see that sticks to it so that's not aluminium proven wrong straight away but that doesn't stick so we have a bit of aluminium again case doesn't or the cover doesn't stick, does it? No, it does actually stick. So we have sticking in parts and sticking in not sticking in other parts. No. So that's actually not aluminium. So wrong there on that one. The actual case in itself. So we have some Aluminium plus then inside these centers seems to be like a steel so That will have to be removed before you can progress it any further. So again, the magnet is holding itself there So it's not sticking there, but it is sticking towards where the screw holes were so more than likely There's some sort of magnet in there, but anywhere else is not sticking to it. So mainly aluminium on that um, We also usually have <coughs> if I can remove this Connections here, which sometimes can be gold on some of the older ones. They would have uh, better gold pins on them uh, Some of the newer stuff doesn't have the the gold on them. It's just like a Just like a circuit board essentially. It's connected on some of them have a bit of ribbon wire and you can see from this side we have some pins but they don't seem to be gold flashed on this particular one now I'm just going to get a knife just so I can open this here and remove the, the reader Okay, so again, that's the other part of the magnet set. So as you can see, these are quite strong. And anyone that's been working with them, I'm sure, has got a nice little pinch off them. So you know what I'm talking about. If you do, if you, if it's happened to you, you know the pain. So on this, we have a little bit of copper wiring on it. Uh, I've been seeing some of them have little gold it's very hard to see it there but a little tiny bit of gold on them so again you could trim them off if you want to put them into gold fingers and just get that little bit of gold off them 
Um, again, here we'd have a little bit of a circuit board, um, nothing major on it. So most time I just trim the tips of them and throw them in with my gold fingers when I'm going to do with my gold fingers. Oh, not my gold fingers, my gold pins. Um, now let's see if we can get this cover off here. We have it off. Okay. So that's what I was on about there, this little connector. Sometimes they can be gold flash connectors, gold pin connectors, but that one doesn't seem to be. So that again, not really of value there on that one. Um, so I'll put him aside. So then we're left with mainly aluminium. Uh, let me just see if that centre part is aluminium or is that a steel? If I can pry my magnets apart. So that's, that's magnetic, so again, I'll try and remove that completely out of it, usually with a hammer. Um, or these screws can come off here, but they don't seem to want to move for me today. So I'm not going to waste too much time on them. It's usually just screw them off. Oh, we got a loose at last. So again, I think this magnetic, remove it uh, before you put it into your aluminium so that you get your best price for your aluminium. one that doesn't want to come it's kind of misshaped so I'm gonna to have to either drill him out I'd say or oh, we got him a bit of brute force at last okay so I've removed that from the center so we should be just left with our aluminium so that seems to be that seems to be mainly aluminium now on that. Um, so again, some people will will um, melt them down um, and other people do sell them on again. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, and then we'll look at a, a, chunk of, a chunk of steel with some aluminium surrounding it. So again, if you can force that out, Get that part removed uh, you can get your aluminium for that okay so that was that hard drive so i have a second hard drive to do which i'll do off screen and we'll come back in a minute when i have that one done we don't need to see me doing the same um, then we move on to this here so again what i'm going to do here on this is i'm going to remove all the screws off screen so i need the screws here so make a quick video quite quicker so you don't have to look at me doing this doing the screws and the same with this video or this um, CD drive, we're going to remove the screws off it before we uh, come back onto the video so that way then you don't have to we won't be waste time. So I'll have everything screw t screws taken out of and we'll be ready to move on to the next stage to see what's inside each one of these. Okay, so I've removed um, all the visible screws I could see with, and we'll take off the covers on these now and see what we've got. So this one here, now this time this feels like aluminium. Yes, that's that's completely aluminium this time. So that's can be put into your aluminium, not like the other one, which was a steel with a magnet stick to it. So um, again, it might be the steel plate here on the back that I was looking at it while I was off camera. There seems to be like a, a steel plate on the back of it, which could be probably removed, and um, which uh, which you'd have to get a. A knife in underneath it but it seems to be well stuck so you'd get a knife in underneath that um, in under there and you should be able to remove that and then you'd be just left with aluminium so we'll might break that down further okay so as you can see I've already removed a lot of the screws from the top and the left one there's always one there's always one Okay, so again, remove that. Cover, just check and see if that's aluminium. It 
Cheers. Okay, so again, into your aluminium with that. Now, if I get in under the neodymium magnet, this one is quite a large one, so it is quite strong. So again, watch out that you don't get caught on it because it is the sorest thing ever to get pinched between the two of them. So, we have our magnet. Okay, on this one there's two platters. So we have two, a double platter. So again, remove that ring. Aluminium. And take out the, the second platter. So we have two platters on that one again. I'll do the same thing with that. I'll cut them up, destroy it. Um, I don't bother selling them. Um, it's too much effort for myself just to sell them. I'd keep them and uh, look at a way of processing. I haven't figured out the most economical way yet or whether they're worth processing. So if anyone has done videos on it or anyone knows has done them, drop us a link in the old comments there to a video on them or um, if you've done them yourself, let me know how you've figured out with them. Okay, so this one. So as you can see here, this is what I was on about earlier. This has some gold flashing. So that's, that's gold flashed. Uh, so again, I'll trim that down, take that bit of gold flashing from it. Um, again, the tips on this one don't seem to have any gold on them. Uh, there seems to be like a gold wire running up, up through, it's very hard to focus on that. But you'll have to take my word on that, there's a little bit of gold wire, like a bonding wire, um, running up through it. So again, I'll trim that back and um, hold on to the gold wires for further processing. Uh, we'll just remove the other magnet out of it. So we have both magnets now taken out. Um, aluminium, steel. So again, we'll just remove the size up. Um, I'll do that off camera, you don't even need to see me do that because we've already ran through this part so we'll go to the boards on the back and we'll just remove the, the board on the back on this one because this is a different board than the uh, other type board that we removed from the first hard drive so I just wanted to show you the two types mainly that you'll find on the hard drive so um, Really, I should have a bucket and just throw the screws in as I'm going, but save me sweeping them all up in a while. So, we'll take that off, we'll put that aside. So, the main difference here is you have your gold pins in here, uh, some gold pins here compared to your gold, more like fingerboard sort of idea uh, along here. That's the main thing. Again, IC chips, IC chips, IC chips. Um, again, some MLCCs, MLCCs along here. So again, that's about it. Sometimes these can be gold tipped. They are. That's your gold tipped connections along here. Um, we didn't have that on the other board. So again, that's your your gold connections tips along there. So that's the two two hard drives taken apart. Then we'll move on to our little CD ROM uh, that was inside the computer. So again, there's going to be very little in these usually. So I'll try and remove that top cover okay so steel usually is it yeah magnetic no actually no it's aluminium so that's a nice little find or it could be stainless steel um, so that's a nice little find it's a little bit better than your normal steel so inside we'll have a quick gander so on the first part nothing really uh, major there. We'll just see if I can remove. I'm gonna have to go taking a few more screws off. So change the screwdriver a bit again. So 
So these are very small heads on these um, these screws. So again, a lot of effort for, I presume, and very little in them, because again, their size is very small, the components will be small, so anything that will have gold on them will usually be very little. A um, few gold pins, I presume, here along the connections, uh, it'd be the main part. It might be a small little bit of a board inside, which may have an IC on it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, so just remove this last screw on this part, and then we've I think two more screws I see somewhere else on it. Did I spot it here? No, that seems to be it actually. Okay, so again, non magnetic. So, could be an aluminium, a light aluminium. Uh, underneath, just pop that cover off. Okay, we have a little board inside my C's on it and a ribbon so we'll just put that ribbon there so again the ribbon has like a silver color it's not a gold so it's a silvery color not a gold flash so it could be silver or it could just be just be um, zinc or something like that so just remove that the ribbon see if it's silver on the side as well and it is a silvery color so it's not a gold color so it's not gold flashed and then we have our bore so again two little small screws holding it in okay so again we'll just have a quick look at the magnet non-magnetic so we'll have to investigate further whether that's aluminium which I hope it is um, so on this board we have a little uh, connector here which may have gold flashing inside of it we have a connector here which I see has gold flashing inside of it gold pins uh, one little MLCC there uh, second MLCC two IC chips, three, four, another two, three, four, about five, five to six um, MLCCs there on that. This side a larger, um, larger IC cap, or IC, not IC cap, an IC chip. Uh, so that's it really on that board. So again, a little board adds up, goes in with the rest of them. So then we're left with a few little screws here. So again, I'll take it off for the process. If I was doing this for myself, I wouldn't bother. Um, there's usually nothing of real value there, but we'll have a quick look in it, seeing we're doing it for video purposes. Sorry, I'll just take it off cam for a second to get a better look at that screw. Where it is. Okay, and there. And of course, another hidden screw. Too. Such an amount of screws for such a uh, of low value nowadays. Okay, so again, just some plastic. This is our main reader. We have our um, laser reader in there. So I don't know, does anyone have any 
worth out of them. Um, I don't bother recycling them or doing anything with them, excuse me. Uh, we'd have a switch, so a little, little button switch there, which um, should contain some silver. We have a board on this side, so we'll just have a quick look. That seems to be, it's hard to tell if that's just a copper, it is a copper. So that's just some, a copper connector, so again I can put that on my copper. Um, the ribbon again, just some ribbon. The ribbon comes around to this side. We'll have a look and see if that's gold flashed or is that a silver flashed a ribbon, a silver color, not guaranteeing it's silver. So again, that is Looks like gold actually, that's gold to colour. So we have a little bit of gold flashing on there. Um, again, that looks like a gold, but I'd be thinking it's brass, more brass. They wouldn't put gold flash in there for no re for any reason, there's no need for it. Uh, the board itself, I'll have to remove a few more screws just to get into it. It's quicker if I do it off camera. I have to reach around the camera to do it. And another one here. So, some plastic coming away from the board coming away this side so mainly it's just steel um, on there or aluminium uh, we would have some little rods see if they're steel or not so again they're non-magnetic are they seem to be non-magnetic non-magnetic and the last screw that was hidden So looking at this bit of board, so again we'll just have a look at the ribbon. Uh, ribbon on that is a silvery colour. Uh, there's a tint of tint of um, yellow to it, but not much. So very very lightly uh, plated. A little IC chip, and that's about it. So again, not really much in it. So our final item on the video is the larger uh, DVD drive. Now I've come across once ever on these a nice little board inside them where there was actually a gold capped or not a gold black capped BGA with a little gold corner so but I doubt this one has it because this came out of a low end one yeah so I came across before one which was a gold uh, BGA here so that was a nice little find to get in it so just having a quick look at the back of the board uh, so we have our ICs, our ICs, ICs mainly on it um, no MLCCs to see straight off uh, one MLCC just down here uh, second one here so two little MLCCs on the on the board um, again we'll have some gold connector pins on it so we'll just try and remove the cover for that okay so that will be usually steel yeah magnet stick straight to that so steel, bit of plastic, some more plastic, and we're into our board. So we'll just have a quick look on this side. Ribbon, so we'll see if that's a gold flash ribbon or is that a no silver flashed ribbon, so again not not enough value in that ribbon for me. And um, now I could try with the silver when I do my silver, I might just Trim them off and see if it's silver. Uh, you can put a little bit of bleach on, see if it tarnishes it to see if it's silver. Okay, so that's that part removed. Can we get the board off now? So, again, silver little connector down here, so silver chipped. 
Um, on the other side of the board, nothing really uh, that I work with or take take off. So again, I'll just be removing this to get my gold pins. Um, they're gold flash pins. You can just see them in there, gold flashed. Um, oh, some MLCCs actually. Some three nice MLCCs there. A uh, nice little size. Uh, another two down here. Another one here. So we've got a few MLCCs. So hopefully they contain um, some silver uh, and platinum. Uh, again on here, we have a little switch. So usually that switch may contain silver inside the connectors. Um, I see chips. That's about it. And here again, we've got a little bit of a board here. I'm not going to bother taking it off. It's just going to be too much effort for what it'll be worth. Um, unless someone tells me differently online that they've took one apart and it's it's uh, worth a fortune. But I don't think it will be. It's just a little movement board just to, to think that it doesn't look like there'll be an IC chip or anything like that on it. Um, some little, looks like brass colored screws. So possibly brass screws. Um, again, that's possibly brass. Along here, a little motor that you can take off for your copper. Uh, another motor here for copper. Um, looking on the other side, this is where your laser is. So again, I haven't done much research into the lasers. I don't know are they worth collecting, are they worth holding on to, uh, is there gold inside them. Um, so if anyone has done that and has found information and thinks that they're worth collecting, let me know. It might be something I can do a video on maybe later, do a bit more research on it and do a video. So, that's kind of it for the teardown. So mainly in your hard drives, you're looking at your boards as your value. So you can either strip them down further or they can be sold as high grade boards usually. Um, to any of the crowd, any of your scrapyards that buy the boards or board sort in America, if you're living in America, in the likes of Ireland, uh, we have very few people, they won't give you very much money for it. It's not, um, it's not something that they're big into around here um, in Ireland, in, in the UK, I don't know what it's like, so anyone from the UK watching this video, let me know in the comments. Do you sell your boards? Do you, do you uh, break them down? Do you um, deal with the IC chips yourself? Or do you just separate the IC chips, sell the IC, IC chips on? Um, I'd like to, well my plan is to do videos on them all anyhow, so um, I'll be taking everything apart, I'll remove the IC chips. Again, if you want to see how I remove the IC chips with, um, with the heat gun, or I do trim down there, just um, check out a video, I'll put a link up here in, one, in the corner, so up along here somewhere, we'll have a little link to um, to the video where I use the heat gun to remove the IC chips um, on that, so just check that out. Uh, this board off the CD drive, uh, the DVD one actually, so we had a quite a large IC chip here, a few more IC chips along here, um, on the back we had a couple of MLCCs, um, so again, that's what I'll be removing from that board. This little board, again, IC chip on the back. Uh, a few more IC chips here. A um, couple of small MLCCs. Aluminium. Uh, the neodymium magnets. So again, I hold on to the magnets. I collect them up. Uh, at some stage I may look at selling them on eBay. Um, if there's anyone interested in buying them or whatever, I'll see what's, what's the story on them. But I do see people selling them. So I'll sell them by the pound or whatever. Um, on online hopefully at some stage um, then I have a lot of aluminium as I said already we've got our platters so we got three platters from our hard drives or from yeah from our hard drives the aluminium that's mainly it so thanks for watching the video um, again thanks to Gil Skills for the shout out on his channel um, Scrapper Dave give me a shout out there a while back as well so thanks a lot for that um, I'll put a few links to their videos, hopefully in some of my videos, so keep an eye for them. I'll do a, a playlist of um, videos that I think are pretty cool that they're doing. Um, so that's about it. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share. Uh, check me out. I'm hoping to do a Facebook page, maybe um, an Instagram, Twitter, a few different things on it so that we can keep in touch a bit easier than just the videos. So people might have spotted or asked, want to send me something on Twitter they want me to... to um, tear down some sort of computer some sort of whatever type of hard drive something like that let's even get hold of it and um, if they want to send me something sometimes people uh, ask for my address to send me something that they have lying around the house they just want to see me tear it down uh, see what's inside of the value so just do that as well if you want to so keep on trying to find that gold